everybody, what's up? This is Evan with Project Baja, here to give you a little update on what's been going on with our bug build here in webisode number four. If you haven't checked out webisodes one through three, definitely do that. It'll give you a really good idea of what we've been through so far and keep coming back for more after this is done. So what has Project Baja been up to? Heaps of stuff as it turns out. First thing since our last webisode is we basically built and fabricated transmission mounts because we cut the old ones out to make some modifications to the rear suspension. First step in that process was to get a bunch of inspiration, figure out what we wanted in transmission mount, design it in SolidWorks, and send certain parts off to laser cutter to be fabricated. Once we got those parts back, we machined down some tubing, assembled the whole thing, make sure that it fit, tacked it up and welded it in place once we were happy with it. Our next step was to build molds for our bushings out of Teflon, mix up some urethane, and get the bushings going. Once all of that was done, we essentially put everything in place on the car, made sure it was gonna fit exactly the way that we wanted it, tacked it up, did final fitment, and welded it in place. After we got our transmission mounts done, we were on the final push to get everything prepared to take the car up to Built by Bones where we'd be fabricating the cage. We spent a lot of late nights doing some finish welding, boxing in the King Kong, assembling suspension components that came from Nectar Labs, stripping and mounting the doors, bolting our transmission in and getting the wheels on, and then finally putting the body back on the pan. We spent the next few weekends at built by Bones in Fort Collins under the expert tutelage of Grant Barclay and his main man, Tyler, who we dubbed the Cage Whisperer. We are psyched to have built by Bones on board as a partner and sponsor in this project and probably could not have gotten as far as we are without their expert help. Building the Cage was a huge learning experience for all of us. Grant did a lot of the heavy lifting with bending the tubes, figuring out angles and things like that. But we did a lot of the cutting and fitment and tack welding ourselves. His shop is unbelievable, super top notch. They build everything from desert racing, rock crawling, badass mean machines from the ground up all the way to rally cages and Pikes Peak hill climb car cages. If you're needing anything of that sort done, they're definitely the people to go to. Can't recommend them enough. We were able to get most of our cage done, most of the main parcel of our cage. So we got the main hoop and the main X is done, our side hoop and side X is done, and a lot of the front pieces of the cage all fitted in the car and tacked into place. Next up on the agenda was getting our bug back to Denver. Uh, it just so happened the weekend we wanted to do that, it snowed about 18 inches in the front range and we had to borrow a trailer that was buried in a snowdrift. So after that little adventure of getting the, getting the bug back, we had kind of some general shop organization, some cleanup to do, as well as preloading the rear suspension of our bug to see how it's actually gonna sit at ride height. And other than that, we took a little bit of time to pursue some other stuff we're interested in. I went skiing. Josh and Matt did some ice racing, and Matt Fisher rode his, what do they call those things? Fat bikes in the snow, toting a gun or something, I don't know. So that's all we got for this webisode. Thanks for checking it out. Again, I'm Evan with Project Baja. Hopefully we'll see you on the next one. And again, if you haven't seen the previous webisodes, be sure to check them out. There should be a link about right here. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.